Everywhere you look, people are talking, tweeting, texting, fingers furiously on the move. Each year, Americans spend over two trillion minutes on their cell phones, and we send over a trillion text messages. Our constant chatting in public places can be pretty annoying, so we designed our very own social experiment. Outfitted with a hidden camera, is he playing, Megan? Yep. We went undercover. Ready to go. To find out how people react when they're face to face with rude behavior. We started out on a quiet commuter train. Then I left them right next to your desk. It took under a minute for the guy right in front of me to react to my loud and obnoxious phone conversation. I'm sorry. And what about those irritating chirping sounds when you're busy texting or IMing your friends? This woman suffered in silence for three whole minutes before she finally said something. That sound is just going right to my ears. Uh, Can you lower that just a little bit? Sure, sorry Thanks, about I that. that. Sure. Instead of turning it down, we decided to turn it up and find people's breaking point. It's, it's the bag right next to my desk. Right, there's a folder in there. At a supermarket, we put the brakes on this conveyor belt and caused a two minute backup. While this guy picked up his items and moved to another cashier, the woman behind him took action. I'm sorry, you're holding up that whole line here. I'm sorry. Next, we stop by a coffee shop where the aromas and soft music offer a serene environment. That is, until my phone became a complete distraction. Most kept their cool, but this guy decided to speak up. Put that on vibrate. Finally, we entered that most sacred of entertainment hideaways. Please, don't spoil the movie. Where the audience was pretty understanding during the previews, but during the main event, we found you can only push a person so far. Turn your oh, no, 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 like on, off. That was enough for me to power down and try to enjoy the show.